Hey, Mike. I gotta talk to you. Yeah, what's up, Blozo? Uh, let me tell you something. I'm very disappointed. You don't have the drive and motivation that our comedy team needs. We haven't performed in Manhattan on Broadway's comedy scene for quite a while. It's been a month or more. You know, this is the year we're supposed to make it. Well, Blozo, you know, I got a lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. I got to take care of my house. Mm -hmm. I got to take care of my wife. Mm -hmm. I got a full-time job that I have to pay bills. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor baby. Hold on. I hear the phone ringing. Hello? Excuses, excuses? It's for you. Bozo. <laughs> you come home. You know, we're supposed to be on a fast track on 2013. You come home and you drink your wine and you lie on the couch and watch the news and you fall asleep. You know, you loser. You know, Blozo, it just relaxes me, and I'm under a lot of stress, and, you know, we're doing it for goof, and, and if we make it big, so be it, but, you know, don't we have our companionship and friendship? Oh, crap. Hey, hey, boy, you're drinking that wine. Give me a glass. Here you go, Blozo. I mean a puppet clown-sized glass, you... Oh, dummy. Hold on, Blozo. Here you go. Yeah, you know what, Mike? I had it. Here you go. Yeah, okay, that's all right. Hey, hey, I, I gotta go on my own. I can't help it, buddy. It's just the way it's gotta be. You let me down. Bozo, how can you say that? Even when I bought a wig for you, for your hair, and give you all the good comedy scripts to do, and we started out in the business together? I'm sorry. I went to a director, and he said I'd be better on my own. So I'm out of here. Bozo, you're gonna break up the team and our friendship and all we've been through together? I'm sorry, Mike. And I'll see you in Hollywood. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Oh, give me some more of that wine, will you? Here you go, Blozo. <laughs> All right, buddy, take care. Blozo, come back. So long. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah, thanks so much. You're the best audience. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and the host, live from New York, it's Saturday night. <laughs> you know, uh, do you, you know a Charlie Sheen? You guys are contemporaries, right? When I see you in film style, I think to myself, mm, this guy is an actor really, really got a hold of him. I have to say that you would be the shining example of how one can turn one's life around. And uh, succeed uh, as dessert. Thanks, Dave. Well, actually, Conan, I think we're related because we have the same hair. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Thanks. Tonight's guest has received more than 100 nominations and won more than 50 awards, including a Best Supporting Actor Academy Award. As an actor, he has moved freely and gracefully from comedy to romance to action to drama in fair as wide-ranging... Bozo, Bozo, huh? Oh, Mike! Oh, that wine must have got me groggy. You see what I mean? Drink a wine after dinner, your brain gets soft, you wino. I'm out of here. I'm off to the bright lights in Manhattan to be a star. Blozo, reconsider. I'm out of here, kid. Have a nice life. <laughs> I'm gonna be a star on Broadway. If I gotta walk the streets the rest of my life. I get high on life. Just ask my bartender. That was a good joke! You guys suck! And I told my ex-comedy partner Mike that he was the smartest dumbass I know! <laughs> Sounds like my family's in the audience again! <laughs> Yikes! Am 
remember, I like I say, love your enemies. But always remember the a-hole's name. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? That was a good joke. Oh, uh, hey, 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 what's, hey, hey, what's, what's wrong with you guys? Hey, Mike. Bozo, you're back. Man, I missed you, buddy. I'm glad you're back. <sighs> well, how'd you go in uh, Broadway? Did you make success? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a little rough out there. Well, I know, Bozo, but you know what? That's okay, man. Because it's not if you succeed or not. It's the trying that, that counts. <laughs> yes, Mike. You know, I really missed it, Bozo. And I have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple of months ago, I had a Manhattan comedy coach. And he told me I should break up the act and work solo. Mm -hmm. But I didn't listen to him because you're my friend, you're my buddy. We've been through a lot together. And even though we may not make it big, we're having fun together. And it's not all about fame and fortune, Bozo. Mm -hmm. You know, Bozo, a lot of famous people aren't happy. And although they have material objects with all the money that things could buy, mansions, <clears throat> and yachts, yeah, and Learjets, <laughs> yeah, and Maseratis, and beautiful models and women, deep down inside, they're empty. We'll always have our friendship and our bond together. For that do us part. Hey, Mike, I feel warm and tingly all over. Yeah, so you mean a life of... Infamy and mediocrity ain't so bad after all. No blows off. Oh, great. I just bought a one-way ticket to Palookaville. <laughs> oh, joy, oh, rapture. Blows off. <laughs> Jeez.